Hi Aquarius, welcome to my channel, The Guided Intuitive, and welcome to your first half of November love read uh, for 2022, okay? Let's dive in and take a look at what's going on for you guys, all right? Wow, you know, I gotta tell you guys, uh, you know, in the pre-shuffle what I was getting, and it was quite interesting because I feel that you've overcome something, and this is really beautiful. It's almost as if, like, um, and I kept getting this saying, and I, I, I didn't even know what it was. So for some of you, you might it might ring a bell for you, but um, don't give away the farm for a smile is what I was getting. So I feel that, you know, and it really kind of means that, like, don't give away something that is a bit of great value just for a cute little smile, okay? So this is really kind of, you know, holding your ground uh, and, uh, you know, in, but it's also an opportunity for you to be loyal to you in, in some way. Maybe you've overcome something, especially in, it's coming up in your love rate, you know? So it, it could be that, you know, just uh, you standing your ground on what you feels right for you and then what feels good to you in your heart of hearts. So, you know, maybe taking things a little bit slower and that might be a risk for you, uh, you know, typically in some ways. Uh, for some of you, I don't know, it, it's what's coming through. But however that lands on you, uh, because it's a time for that you're going through it in terms of a risk. There's some sort of risk that you're taking and it has to be, you know, it's coming up in your love rate, so I'm feeling now to do with love, all right? So, all right, let's uh, use the star deck because I, I like to use this deck for your, uh, my Aquarians here. So uh, just know the, the universe wants you to know, your, your guardians want you to know, and your spirit guides, you are protected right now. You are protected in that risk that you need to take. Even though that you might feel that you're not, you are. They're kind of like whispering in your ear. Pay attention to the little synchronicities, okay? Especially relating into you know, your love life as well. We've got a, um, a, uh, a full moon that's happening on November 8th that's coming up and now it's going to be in Taurus and it's going to help you put your feet on the ground. You know, Taurus is, uh, you know, grounded, uh, you know, in that type of thing. And so it, it, it'll allow you to really focus in on, there's a lunar eclipse during that time as well. Um, but it's going to allow you to put things on stable ground. So you're okay. And just know that. And I'm going to pull a de-stress card at the end for those of you that want to stay tuned. That's going to help you with that. All right. So let's dive in, in your love life, Aquarius, and let's uh, take a look at what's going on for you. Let's start with them um, four cards. Okay. Okay. And, and this is, this is interesting guys. Very interesting. All right. What else do we have here? Whoa. All right. I'm going to have to pull another card on something here in terms of where you're at right now. Okay, bottom of the deck. Um, Knight of Swords. This is Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Now, this could be you taking on this energy. And with this Knight of Swords, what this talks about is don't be too hasty. Um, you know, kind of like I mentioned, kind of hold your ground. Uh, don't be too hasty in making some sort of decisions, okay? Um, this is saying is that, I mean, if what do I want to say is that, you know, the Knight of Swords move is, is very hasty and maybe that is something that you've maybe moved forward too fast in a situation or in a relationship. Uh, it, don't be too hasty in thinking of what you, you think you know, because uh, this is saying is uh, don't be too opinionated. Look at the other side of the situation. Uh, go a little bit slower uh, if, if, if that makes you a lot more comfortable. This is what's coming through. So it's reminding you to do that. Um, for, for whatever reason. And here's what I get, because what I'm getting that's coming through here, and I, I actually clarified it, and I got two major arcana coming out, all right? So the first thing that we got is the tower card. So something has to come down so you intuitively can be, so you can listen to your intuitive voice here, all right? So in some way that there is something that's unexpected or unavoidable that's going to allow you to tap into your intuition even better and listen to it, right? It could be like, oh, I knew I should have followed my intuition on this right so so this is really focusing on something needs to come down um, and I really feel it's great because what's crossing you is teamwork so I feel that something needs to come down it wants you to listen to your intuition regarding teamwork and collaboration with others okay so um, if something needs to come down listen to your intuition and it has to do with the three of a uh, friendship and community but it but 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 it's almost like it's teamwork and a relationship or situation Something needs to come down so it could get to teamwork, all right? Let me pull a few cards on this to get any further details. So that, you know, that that's going to be important, guys, all right? What else? Yeah, it's going to get things on, on, on solid ground. You've got three major arcanas 
coming out right out of the right out of the situation here okay so it is that something needs to come down right something needs to come down um, it wants you to truly listen to your intuition here the mystery within the guideposts those synchronicities um, and it's there so it can bring you onto a level playground it's 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 so justice can be served okay um, and then uh, then teamwork comes into play. So don't be too hasty to rush into a relationship or a situation that you feel called to do to an extent. It's almost saying, you know, really think about what it is that your values and your morals are and stay true to that and, and make decisions based on that. And if something needs to come down, so be it. But what it's going to do, it's going to put things in balance and get the teamwork. So there's a way that the universe works that might not make sense to you in the mind. Um, but you know, it is, it is coming through. Okay. Uh, so this is what I'm getting. I'm then going to pull a card, uh, from the divine love cards. And I know that, uh, it's a little crazy, but you're going to get through this. Okay. I just, I, I, I feel it. I mean, justice coming through Libra energy. It's, it's great. Yeah. See transformation. There's a transformation that needs to hit. All right. And it's going to, it's going to be a really good thing. Quite frankly, uh, this is about transforming, um, and rising up through a situation because I feel that you're at a risk right now. It's a time um, that you might be taking a risk and you have to uh, focus in on your spirit guides and the universe to help guide you in this process. And that's what this is saying to do. So there's a transformation underway, uh, you know, and, and, and it's, it, it's really uh, making you a lot more independent and strong in terms of relationships it gets you solid aqua and when you feel that way you are such a sexy better partner i gotta tell you okay so this is what is coming through for me here it gets you more independent and that interdependence is super key right now especially if you're going to be involved with another person this stability needs to happen okay because then every then when you come together with another person uh, you're going to attract someone who's also the same and together you'll create that third entity that's just kind of like the whipped cream and cherry on top right it's like it's like all of that you know it just really is a compliment right so you both come whole and uh you mirror each other's wholeness and then you are able to come together um, and to create something beautiful okay and this is different from perhaps relationships of the past of any sort so that's why the universe and spirit guides want to work with you to get this down this is really fundamental and this is the the uh, solid ground um that is necessary to make to create that change okay so that's what i'm getting what you're springboarding from is a message that's coming through could be from a cancer scorpio or pisces energy or it could be that if you're not, you know, connected with someone that you are noticing the synchronicities uh, and you are, you're noticing what's happening and it could be messages coming through. Um, and again, could be from a water sign or just messages, downloads coming for, uh, for those of you that might not be connected with someone um, or are just feeling that yourself. There's some sort of uh, um, synchronicity about something creative that you're doing and you're noticing things. So um, I'll pull a card on this, but this is what you're springboarding from, a message that's coming through that's kind of mysterious and hidden. Now, this could be a love message coming through of emotions, and there's a little mystery behind that. And that's why I mentioned what I mentioned at the very beginning, guys, that, uh, you know, don't give away the, the um, don't give away the farm for, for just a smile. OK, because, you know, your value. And, and, and you also know what's true to you and you are becoming a lot more stable and interdependent on what you do. And you're just kind of getting into sync and getting that on even more solid ground. Something that's necessary for a relationship. Okay. Because what I get that's coming forward in the near future is the devil energy. And it's something that perhaps has kept you in, uh, you know, kept you back that held you back in the past in terms of relationships. This is a very important message for you, Aqua, right now. Very important. And I felt the remnants of it coming in your end of your October read. So it's something that had kept you in bondage, a pattern in a relationship. You know, it could be that uh, maybe that you move too fast or maybe that uh, you didn't recognize what it is that you want. And again, you move maybe too fast and it really wasn't, you know, um, uh, resonating with your uh, true value, you know, and what you were looking for. In other words, you could be looking for a partner, a long-term relationship, and you were uh, entertaining, uh, you know, otherwise, whatever that looks like for you, uh, or less than what you wanted, you know, uh, well, I'll just, you know, focus in on this. 
this, you know, the universe and spirit guys want to give you exactly what you want. And that, you know, that or something, you know, way even better. And so it wants you to, uh, uh, you know, it wants you to focus on this transformation that is taking place within you. Some of you are going through a little bit of healing, perhaps from a previous situation. Um, but you're, you're, this is about your, this is Capricorn energy. And what's at the bottom of the deck so interesting is that you're transitioning from this. All right. You're transitioning from this. And it's, so it's, it might be a little bit of a wobble time, but this is the time that it's happening. The transformation is happening, okay? So you might be, again, a lot of you might be feeling, um, you know, uh, you know, kind of vibrations of this already taking place. Or some of you are in the middle of it. Some of you are just, you know, entering into it or and, and doing it within these first two weeks of, of November, okay? Uh, so you know where you're at, but I think that you're transitioning from the reasoning of the bondage of what you thought about relationships or situations and it, it, it's transitioning and it wants to birth something new and, and the sixth house which is the sixth card reduces to a six is about self-improvement so you've done it and all I gotta do is say is Aqua give yourself a you know a pat on the back and pat, give yourself a hug okay because you're doing it all right you're doing it and, and it's happening and you're transitioning from this whatever that held you back previously all right and in fact what I'll do guys is I'll pull a shadow card on this and I'll pull a surrender card and see what comes up for you in this read. And then we'll take a look at the other person. But you're transitioning. You're transitioning. All right. So we've got that. And then I'm going to pull a surrender card. And I'll share them both with you before we jump over to this other side. Okay. What do we get? Okay. So here's what we got here. Now, I did get a surrender that uh, need to be right. So in a relationship or situation, this is about, you know, perhaps looking at another situation. Okay. This could be, um, you know, uh, talking to others, you know, compromising with others, not, you know, this is also about understanding another person. Okay. So this is about, sometimes we have to yield. Sometimes we have to be rigid. Now I did talk about doing what's true to you on standing your ground. That's key, but it's not about an E coming from the ego, right? It's about, uh, you know, talking, it's about communication. It's about, uh, understanding where others are coming in relationships. Sometimes you have to, you know, sometimes there is a time to be rigid and yield and kind of that. And this is about, you know, that, you know, understanding how to do both. Okay. How to do both. And I know that, uh, it, it, it can be difficult starting off with, but if there is a conflict in a situation or in a relationship or connection, you know, uh, if this is saying it's going to help you resolve the conflict and also improve your relationships. Uh, and, and this is like a, the giving and the taking, the giving and the taking. Just making sure that, that is, that there's, a, there's a good process and balancing of that, okay? Because I do get that there maybe has been some quarrelsome, okay? Um, and uh, and if, 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 if quarreling is asking, does uh, quarreling, um, does the action of doing that fulfill an emotional need for you, right? And does it make you feel powerful? All right. It's, but, uh, is it a bad habit that needs to stop? So it wants you to answer those questions. So write those down, Aqua, because this could be important for you to understand in your love life and just bypassing it and burying it, uh, you know, could be something that could come up later. So really keep that in mind. Um, it does, uh, quarreling that type of action fulfilling emotional need within you. Does it make you feel powerful? Is, a, is it a bad habit that needs to stop, okay? Because it could be that you grew up with that within your, your, your child, you know, kind of growing up as a child, and it's something that you just kind of brought over to the adult life, and now it's kind of coming into play, right? So it is, uh, you know, when we got the Knight of Swords at the bottom of the deck from the beginning of your read, that was all about being opinionated and uh, moving too quickly. So check in with that. That, that opinionated part seems to be coming through over here um, and not always needing to be right, but to yield sometimes. So in a relationship, you know, to to help that, it, it's really key. I will pull one final card on here because this actually heals the ouch. And this is kind of like when there comes a situation, a quarrelsome or, or any of the sort. But yeah, surrender the need to always be right. And sometimes that is yielding is going to be important. Uh, you know, within that. Okay. But let's take a look what we get here. What do we get? Ego. Our ego is what we know and who we believe ourselves to be. 
and this has a significant impact on your relationships. Okay, so it's just confronting the ego. Like sometimes the ego says, I want to be right. But no, the universe says, you know, that sometimes you have to yield, you know, at, at times. And, uh, you know, and uh, especially if uh, in a relationship or, you know, or a situation. So just keep that in mind. Just test yourself and check in with yourself and, and see if there is a time to do that, you know, because it is coming up. All right. Uh, anything else for you that wants to shed um, like moving forward? You're transitioning out of something in the, you know, of having to always, you know, having to quarrel or having to argue. And no, this is about, OK, well, this time, hon, you're right. And this time you can be right. And uh, and and let's go with that. It's it's not worth the relationship or the connection sometimes, you know, so um, you don't always need to be right. Right. And what comes through yeah, it brings, it increases affection in a relationship. Okay. Now, obviously there could be key points that could be a deal breaker and that's something to, you know, have a longer conversation on and, and see where, you know, if there's compromise and if that can be done, but I'm just saying it's going to bring more affection and more love. Um, and it can actually resolve conflicts, improve your relationships by sometimes giving the gift to the other person to be right sometimes. So I know that was a lot aqua, but apparently these things were really important to come through for you, right? And I'll pull a card on, you know, at the very end that I think is going to kind of help you kind of breathe into that. So let's take a look at this other person. All right. Let's take a look at this other person. What do we got? They've been enlightened in some way. I got the hangman upright. All right. And then what I do get, uh, this could be someone that you're dealing with. They've been inspired. This is inspiration and creation. So they've been inspired. There's an opportunity for a brand new inspiring energy. Um, and it, it makes sense because they got the hangman upright. I've been illuminated, right? I'm no longer hanging upside down and thinking and looking at that. This person has, has been illuminated in some way. Now it does, it, it, it has to do with persever, and they, it's about them persevering. A nine of wands is passion. Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, passionately, you know, you know, moving forward what it is that they want, right? Ninth house energy, it's about part of their journey to continue to not give up in a situation. And this could be with you or whatever's coming through. Um, but let's take a look. Uh, anything else that's coming through about persevering the nine of wands on this other person's side? Yeah, pursuing, uh, you know, after deception. So this person could have been deceived either by themselves or within a relationship because this is a seven and that seventh is house of partnerships, one-on-one -on -one connections, conflicts or alliances with others, right? And even legal situations. But this person is persevering and, you know, with seventh house energy after being enlightened in some way. So give me another card on the seven of swords. It has to do with the mind, persevering. Wheel of fortune. Things are changing. Now the universe steps in and creates a change. An end, you know, a, a karmic debt has been paid. New energy comes through. Could be that they're letting one other person go, uh, getting out of a situation to move forward, okay? But regardless, there's brand new energy here, and it's positive. Um, what they're coming from is maybe trying to, to uh, come to some sort of progress with someone. This is two people coming together, both very strong on their own and coming together. Now, someone might be out of the picture right now. It could be at a distance from each other. It could be that uh, one person uh, was you know, hidden out of the picture, but now things I think are shifting because there's two people up here and one is falling through, okay? So there could have been some sort of situation. In the near future, I got clarity, guys. I got power, victory, and clarity. You could be dealing with an air sign uh, or someone who's very passionate. They could have fire in their chart as well. Um, because I do have a lot of that, but a lot of air and look at the bottom of the deck guys regarding the two of cups. Now there's attraction, attraction, two people coming together. There is some sort of attraction and partnership. So they, they, they got some sort of clarity regarding some sort of partnership. Now this could be with you. This is two people coming together. Uh, but there's been some clarity that this person has and look at, at the bottom of the deck is temperance. So I am getting that balance in a situation that they got clarity that balance Sagittarius energy is necessary for a relationship. So if you weren't getting that on your side, which is what, uh, you know, is, is, it is going to be coming into play because remember we got the Libra energy of getting balance. So balance is being restored. You're moving away from, you know, old 
things, like something, and it could be one or two things, guys, you're going to know what that is for you that really kind of kept you from transforming your relationships. And you're like, you're, you're totally seeing it. And it's so cool, Aqua, because like you've been in light and you're like, wow, now that I know that, uh, you know, that maybe that my, my parents or my upbringing was, there was a lot of arguments and I was taking that on into my, my, my relationships. And I was always having to be right because I heard that when I was a kid, but you don't need to do that now, you know? So for some of you that holds true. And so it, it's something that's coming to light. And so uh, you're understanding that, uh, you know, sometimes yielding and giving the gift of another person to be right is very helpful. So, you know, I'm going to take this to an extended now that we know that there's balance, I mean, you know, partnership, you have a transition and you've got Libra energy coming through here and um, you are moving into the, uh, you've got already gone through a lot of self-improvement uh, to be strong and transform and get balance. So we'll find out what it is, is their next move, what they want most, what they haven't told you, um, and then their next steps with timing involved in that. We'll find out what you want most, uh, what you haven't told them, and what you hope the next steps to be. Messages from both sides and, and or um, you know a, a potential outcome, what that looks like. We'll also give you Oracle advice for you, Aqua, on this. Just before I do, there's a link in the description box below. You'll see that as well. But just before I do, I'm going to pull a, a, a card that's going to help you stress less regarding the situation. But you're protected. And remember, you're re I'm just reminding you, you're protected through all of this, okay? Um, you can move safely and securely through this, okay? Um, your guardian angels and other guides are making you aware of their protective presence. So heed those synchronicities, okay? Uh, heed those synchronicities. Um, you got this in the recent past, and that's about doing that. Okay, so you'll get messages because it's a page. It's messages. So it, the universe is going to make itself known. But how can Aqua stress less if we're on the situation in their love life? What do we get? Look around you. Okay, the next time you are at leisure at the supermarket, the you know whatever you know, uh, waiting for an Uber or out to lunch, look around you. Uh, like you're doing it for the first time, right? And be curious about your surroundings and other people instead of uh, talking on your phone or maybe, uh, you know, focusing on the internet. Uh, because sometimes when you are so busy doing that, it can stress your brain out a little bit. Give your brain a rest, all right, is what it wants you to do so that you can experience this world around you and you can be peace with the present, okay? So that is your little uh, thing to keep in mind. I am sending you guys so much love and light. Let me know if you like this and uh, note your comments, like, and subscribe. And I look forward to seeing you next time. And the extended link is in the description box below. Namaste.